Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of your July from the 16th to the 31st. So we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So, apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. This could be with anybody. New love, old love, current love, anyone, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people. So I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. I'm tapping into the collective Capricorn uh, people. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your, to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Capricorn, let's get started. Over energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. All right, Eight of Wands. Okay, so you're receiving communication from someone here. Could be an indication that you might be moving on from something here. We have the star. Wow. Could be some, someone communicating to you, letting you know that you are the one, okay? Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. You might have Aquarius in your chart. And we have the Seven of Pentacles here in the Hermit, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with the Virgo. You might have Virgo in your chart. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles here in the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So the universe and the divine is bringing you a new love here. So I feel like this person is coming towards you. Yeah, this person's offering you something super solid, okay? Uh, but I feel like, you know, right now, Capricorn, you could be in this energy of doing some soul searching here, sort of like reassessing your life right now. Uh, so I feel like this is like least expected, you know? When you're not expecting it, that's when it comes. You know, that's how it is typically. Tell me about the Eight of Wands here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Right, Ace of Cups, wow, there is new love coming towards you, Capricorn. We have the Star card here in the Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment is coming towards you. Yeah, the universe is sending you your wish fulfillment here, Capricorn. Okay, tell me about this uh, Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you guys have done a lot of deep soul searching, some deep inner work here. Uh, the, the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles, wow. This is in your future here. Yeah, this is in your future. I mean, ace, uh, one plus nine, that's ten. Tell me about the ace of pentacles. With the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be, be, could be meeting a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. Whoever this is, this person is very, very sexually attracted to you. Or that this person could be super, 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 super attractive. Uh, this person could be super adventurous too. You know, this person's spontaneous, this person likes to have fun, this person likes to, you know, travel and stuff like that and explore. So be ready if you guys, um, you know, are looking for some adventure in your life. Um, tell me about the person that uh, Capricorn is dealing with. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st. All right, Nine of Swords and the Death card. We have the Lovers here and the World. And then we have the um, Temperance card and the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, so the Nine of Swords and the Death card. You know, I feel like you might meet this person when they've gone through some sort of loss in their life because I feel like someone here might, this person might have lost someone close to them, like a family member or something like that, okay? We have the Lovers in the World. Gemini energy seems like you're meeting your soulmate here. We have Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, I do feel like this is an individual that this is an individual that's really balanced. This is an individual that is, you know, sort of like very patient, very peaceful here. So I feel like there's a, there's an energy of not rushing here. Okay, kind of taking your sweet old time. Um, 
the thing is, I, I, I do feel like this person likes to have a lot of fun, though. Okay? So, yeah, this person could, you know, be going through something once they come towards you. Okay? Tell me about this Nine of Swords here. Why is this Nine of Swords here? All right, the King of Wands. Wow, we have the King to the Queen of Wands here. The uh, Death card and the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. The Lovers here and the Six of Pentacles of the World. And the Queen of Cups. The um, Temperance card and the Emperor here. Aries, Energy. The king, uh, Queen of Pentacles and the four, Five of Pentacles here. Wow. Look at that soulmate energy here. King of Wands and a Page of Wands. This is going to be an incredibly fun connection here. Yeah, it, it, so it, it, this could be a situation that this is, th this person might be a single parent or something like that. And, you know, this person could have lost a child, you know, or just anybody in general. Six of Pentacles here and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, I feel like you have a few opportunities here regarding new love here. I feel like you might be meeting a couple of soulmates, but there is one in particular that you have a very, very, very strong connection here with. Okay, so we have the uh, Emperor here and the Five of Pentacles. Aries energy. This is this could be a very healing connection and very transformative connection here for you, uh, Capricorn. Okay, so I do feel like this person's intentions is to take things really far here with you. Okay, uh, I'll come in advice here for um, Capricorn regarding your love situation. What else does Capricorn need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Okay, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. We have the Devil here and the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I, I think eventually you're, you're going to have a decision to make because there are a couple of people here. Like, I feel like the universe might be sending you a couple of options for you to kind of vet and try, kind of try to, to figure out, you know, who's the best person for you. Uh, we have the devil and the knight of pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So there is maybe one person in particular that's super balanced and then the other one might be whacked out of their minds. Uh, we have the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here. So you do have a decision to make eventually. You know, there is someone here that's going to be on the same page here as you. Okay, and then there's someone else that's not. And I feel like you're going to use your own discernment to, fi uh, you know, f sort of figure that out. I feel like you will know who it is once this person comes, to comes towards you. The uh, Two of Wands, we have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Judgment, we have the Knight of Cups, the Devil, we have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. There are so many people here. That is fighting to for you to pick them. Yeah? So we have the Hierophant here in the Knight of Cups. You're gonna get be getting a lot of offer a lot of offers here. We have the magician and the uh, five of wands, Aries Leo Sag. Why did I say Aries Leo Sag? That's Leo energy. Uh, Gemini Virgo with the Magician here and the Four of Cups and the uh, Page of Cups here. You're going to be getting a lot of offers here, Capricorn. Yeah, I, I do feel like there's someone here that's really manipulative. And I feel like there's someone here that could come off as someone here who's super mature, but they're like really immature, okay? Um, this person's energy could be very heavy, could be very dense, and could be very oppressive. But I feel like your the universe and your guides and your angels will lead you to the person that you're meant to be with here. So I feel like there's a situation that, you know, maybe your the universe, the divine, your guides and your angels is sending your person, but there are, there are other people that you're just meeting randomly. Okay, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.